Dear friends, Shabbat Shalom. As we begin our worship this evening, I want to share with you a few reflections on the events of the past week, which touch us both as Jews and as Reform Jews. Yesterday, I was asked by the Israeli newspaper Haaretz for my reaction to Representative Ilhan Omar's much publicized comments on the relationship between America and Israel. I responded that while thoughtful legislators may debate the appropriate level of vital U.S. aid to Israel and even rebuke the policies of the Israeli government, to infuse one's discourse with classic anti-Semitic tropes such as the power of Jewish money and charges of dual loyalty is reprehensible. Then I was asked whether I thought Omar herself was anti-Semitic. And I answered, I do not know what is in Representative Omar's heart, but we do have an adage, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. The Congresswoman has trafficked in the same anti-Semitic rhetoric before and apologized. But now that she has done so again, her motivations are becoming harder to defend. Though Wednesday, Representative James Clyburn tried and only made matters worse, insisting that Omar's life in Somalia and Kenya brought her face to face with the worst kind of oppression, which surely it did, and that therefore her pain, he went on, was more genuine than ours, given that most of us did not personally experience the Holocaust. To diminish one people's tragic history in order to underscore another's is poor judgment at best particularly given the rising anti-Semitism in Europe and America today. Clyburn, too, should apologize. And then came today's news of another clash at the Western Wall. Thirty years ago, an association known as Women of the Wall organized to advance religious liberty in Israel, a cause dear to us as Reformed Jews. Each Rosh Chodesh, the first day of every Hebrew month, Women of the Wall gathers to worship in the Kotel Plaza in defiance of the ultra-Orthodox authorities who forbid women from reading Torah and wearing tefillin or talitot. This morning, celebrating the start of Adar Sheni and their own 30th anniversary, Women of the Wall assembled to find their path blocked by thousands of girls from Haredi Yeshivot bust there by their rabbis. A confrontation ensued, leaving one of our own Reform colleagues bloodied. The magnitude of the injustice is matched only by the scale of the irony that on International Women's Day, these young women were employed as pawns to thwart the efforts of other women attempting to advance women's rights. So in case you had any doubt, we have a lot of work to do here and there. But this is our calling, to decry anti-Semitism, gender bias, Islamophobia, all forms of persecution, not just for our own well-being, but for the sake of all who endure them still. Then, one day, we will be able to sing, not in yearning, but in joy, Hinematov Umanaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. How good it is for people of every race, creed, age, and gender identity or preference to dwell together in unity and in peace.